From Dubai's failed island projects to the longest smart city in the world, on this episode of Build to Billion, we'll look at some of the mega projects around the world that may have bitten off more than they can chew. If you like our content, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so that we can inform you on all the mega projects of the world, one billion at a time. Number four, the line. There are many smart eco-friendly cities either being planned or in construction around the world. And while good intentioned, most of them have failed so far. Recently, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia announced a new smart city called the line. The city is an actual line that stretches from the coast 170 kilometers into the country. The city is supposed to have no cars and run on renewable energy. The concept is based around zero gravity urbanism. This consists of three layers for the residents to walk through and enjoy green spaces and two underground levels with shopping centers and a passenger train. The high-speed train will be able to travel the 170 kilometer line in just 20 minutes, but it is also one of the most more unrealistic features of the project. In order to accomplish traveling that distance at that speed, the train would have to be traveling 510 miles per hour. China's bullet train from Beijing to Shanghai is just about the fastest in the world, and it only goes 380 miles per hour. Financing a mega project like this is also most likely not going to happen, especially in today's economy. The Saudi Arabian government would have to raise $500 billion to bring the line to fruition, and this is more than the GDP of Greece, Croatia, and New Zealand combined. Saudi Arabia only has a GDP of $800 billion themselves. Nobody's coming off of that kind of dough to help Saudi Arabia with a project if you ask me. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number three, Dubai Creek Tower. The Dubai Creek Tower in the UAE was set to become the tallest structure in the world and was most likely a response to the still in progress Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is trying to steal the title of the tallest building in the world from the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The actual height of the Creek Tower was never revealed as to not give away any hints to any of the other countries who may have fetishes for tall buildings, but it will be at least 828 meters. It has a 360 degree view with 10 different viewing platforms and would set the record as the tallest supporting building in the world. Construction was started in 2016 and then halted after completing the foundation at the same time the construction of Jeddah Tower stopped. Those involved claim it was due to COVID-19, but there has been no progress since 2018. No one has attempted to build a structure of this height before, and the steel cables reaching to the top would have to be a kilometer long, causing technical difficulties. It's likely the technology and materials available today will not permit them to build something like this. Number 2. Istanbul Canal Istanbul is starting one of the biggest mega projects in its history with a 50 kilometer or 31 mile long water canal that connects the Black Sea and the Marmara Sea. This makes it shorter than the Panama Canal, but the Panama Canal solves a problem and offers a shorter route between the Atlantic and the Pacific. The Istanbul Canal would be next to an already existing canal and wouldn't be as useful as the Panama Canal, so why build it? The political answer is to increase shipping capacity and reduce waiting times for ships. Most people around the world and in Istanbul are against the construction of the canal, and that's because the intentions for the canal are something else entirely. The other canal next to the Istanbul one that already exists is called the Bosphorus Canal. Because of a 1936 treaty, all ships barring military are allowed to pass through free of charge. This is undesirable for Turkey because more ships pass through this canal than the Panama Canal and Suez Canal combined. The Istanbul Canal could earn Turkey and its leader billions of dollars per year. A project like this would also create countless jobs and boost the economy, but Turkish residents are unhappy. The canal would be dug in an area that provides 40% of the Turkish water supply, threatening contamination of groundwater reserves. In addition, hundreds of thousands of trees would be destroyed thousands of people would be displaced, and it would turn part of Istanbul into an island. Add in a high-speed railway, and the project will reach an estimated 50 to 65 billion dollars. International protest, environmental damage, and high costs may mean this project will never see the light of day. Number 1. Dubai Islands Back to Dubai, where one of the largest artificial islands in the world is located. This group of islands' purpose, like most things in Dubai, is to attract tourists. 
The first was the Palm Jumeirah, which began construction in 2001. The Palm Jubail Ali and the World Islands started construction very shortly after. But 20 years later, these two islands are still unfinished because after 2008, financing for these ambitious islands became a huge challenge. The Palm Jumeirah is the only completed island, but is sinking half a centimeter per year, and all the islands face a doom of rising sea levels. The sea levels could rise up to 200 centimeters by the end of the century, forcing the cost to maintain the islands to dramatically rise as time goes on. Looking at the number of failed islands in Dubai, comparing it with the challenges facing its only completed island, and it's pretty hard to see Dubai's island projects as successful. What do you think about these failed projects? What do you think about these failed mega projects? Let me know in the comments below. I've also done a video on the biggest mega projects that haven't finished yet, but aren't doomed to fail. And you can see that one on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Thanks for visiting Built a Billion.